The Daily Caller, which of course is a far-right smear site, uh, they sent an intern to the White House to be in the press corps and ask questions to White House Press Secretary Jay Carney. Now, that, I mean, that's kind of weird because you don't send an intern who's inexperienced to do something that requires a seasoned reporter, especially since it's the White House, right? But look, that's uh, no big deal and we could look past it because of course the intern has a lot of experience, right? And it's uh, somebody who's worked with them for years and years and they've been in related fields. Uh, of course that's what's going on. Uh, no, it turns out the intern is 16 years old. Okay, now it's getting just weird. So remember, the Daily Caller is a site that likes to pretend they're a serious site. Like, yeah, we, we do the news and we're conservative hacks, but we do the news and we're serious. That's wonderful. So then why did you send a 16-year-old to question the White House press secretary? Appears to be a contradiction there. So uh, it, he asked, the 16-year-old asks Jay Carney, is the White House providing George Zimmerman with security since he got death threats? Now that's a really random question, and to be honest, it's a dumb question. I know how they say in school, like, oh no, there's no such thing as a dumb question. No, there is, and that's what it is. That's exactly what a dumb question looks like. But look, man, okay, that's, it's fine because you have every right to ask. Nobody's coming to censor you. You can say whatever you want. Uh, so Jay Carney responds by saying, well, look, man, that's a, a local and state police issue. It's not a federal issue. And let me hold for a second. Don't, isn't that clear? Like, what do you want the president to do? Like, everybody who's been uh, found not guilty of manslaughter and murder charges, let's send some Secret Service agents to their houses. Like, like what do you think the president does with his time? Like, let me look at all the people who got off from uh, manslaughter and see if I can help them out in some way. Like, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, Jay Carney, I mean, it's a nice response. He says, look, it's a local and state police issue, uh, but President Obama has called for peace after the verdict, so he doesn't want riots, he doesn't want uh, threats, and he agrees with Trayvon's parents, by the way, who also said the same thing. So, the kid snipes back. Like, what are you doing, dude? Pump your brakes. Who are you? You're a 16-year-old in the White House. And the kid says, oh, so he's on his own then? And Jay Carney is like, uh, editorialize all you want, but that's ridiculous. Next question. So, of course, he smacked his ass down and was like, what do you do? Who are you? Now, understand something, guys. You guys know me. The job of the media, in my opinion, is to be really hard on the politicians and make them do their job. So the politician's job is to represent the American people. So you should be hard on them and they shouldn't be buddy-buddy. I'm, I'm on that side of the equation. But to send a 16-year-old kid to ask a dumb question and then talk fresh to the White House press secretary, I mean, that's just embarrassing for the Daily Caller. So, of course, the Daily Caller saw what happened and they were embarrassed, right? I mean, they have to be if they're normal human beings. No, no, uh, Tucker Carlson, who, of course, owns the site with uh, some other people, they released a statement doubling down. Again, I don't know what you're arguing for. You're arguing for teenagers who should be chronically masturbating to question the president and set policy? I, uh, they said, quote, some reporters in Washington are asking why the Daily Caller sent our intern Gabe Finger, awesome name, to the White House uh, press briefing this afternoon. Talk about missing the point. The real question is, why did it take a 16-year-old intern to raise an obvious and important question that the White House press corps should have asked days ago. We don't care uh, how old Gabe Finger is. It doesn't matter uh, to us what his credentials are. All we care about is how well he does his job. Today, he did it a lot better than most White House reporters. They're not a legitimate part of the political conversation, man. I mean, these guys, it's... They're like a parody of themselves. Like, I would say do an SNL skit about this, but the SNL skit is just watching it in real life. <sighs> wait, wait till next week. They're going to send a 12-year-old. They're going to send a 12-year-old girl uh, to ask Jay Carney 
if Obama wants to meet up and play house and uh, paint fingernails with her.